Hi guys, Matt V's Movies back for another video and today we're going to be looking at my complete X-Men collection. So um, yeah, um, I decided to sort of take a look at these films, uh, the editions that I have. And so we're going to have a look today on the channel. So welcome back. So yeah, um, kind of inspired to do this. Um, recently um, picked up the uh, sort of latest X-Men film, um, which was The New Mutants, on just on DVD. And um, I got this in a charity shop for 33p, part of a three for a pound deal. And it kind of sort of got me thinking really I should um, sort of show my X-Men collection so um, so that's what we're going to do today um, I do have all of the films on Blu-ray and 4k well some of the films on 4k um, apart from that one the new mutants I don't have that but um, so yeah I think what we'll do is we'll go down onto the little table and we'll have a bit of a closer look at um, what I've got in my X-Men collection okay so for this part of the video we've come down onto the little table so we're going to have a look at the first three films um, that we got from uh, for, for the X-Men films so first up uh, this is a fairly recent pickup for me and it's the Blu-ray edition um, lenticular for the X-Men film uh, on a steelbook now, I haven't opened this. I'm keeping these sealed for now, to be honest. Um, just got one disc in here. But, um, yeah, uh, this is the steel book. Next up is X-Men 2. Again, another lenticular. There's your spine. There's the back. Just again, one disc. And these were these were on special offer through Zavi. I think they worked out very about six pound each, if I remember rightly. And then the third one, X Men: The Last Stand. Probably the weakest of the three films, but um, yeah, I need to rewatch it and you know make up my mind as to whether I think it's as bad as what I remember. Okay, so on to two box sets that I have for the first three X-Men trilogy films. So first up is the 4K Ultra three film collection. They all look fantastic on um, 4K. You do get the Blu-rays with these as well. And uh, extras. Kind of like a digipack design. So you've got um, the mansion there with the craft. On the front, you've got that artwork that was on the front slip. There's the spine. Open it up. So you've got the 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc. Some credits there. More of the mansion. X-Men 2, 4K and Blu-ray. X-Men The Last Stand 4K and Blu-ray and I'll take the discs out and then we can just have a look at the artwork underneath okay so it's not really to be honest anything on these uh, discs and to be honest it's hardly worth showing there's just a lot of, like an X with sort of some clouds in the background nothing really to sort of write home about on this one Okay, so the second set is my original DVD collector's edition for the first three films. And it also includes an exclusive Stan Lee comic. So the um, glove is slightly embossed with a bit of spot glossing on it. There's your spine. There's the back. 
showing the uh, special features. These were packed with special features. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether they're ported over to the Blu-rays, to be honest. So, um, yeah, well, probably one of the reasons why I've kept this. So we take that off, and it's just like a slip. And then you get this nice sort of montage of all the characters from all three films. That's really nice. Um, there's nothing on the side there. And then on the back, you get the three claws going through steel. Um, Okay, so on the inside you've got all slim cases here and the um, Marvel comic as well. So we'll take that out. So you've got the two disc special edition for the last stand. Packed with special features. Open it up. So there's your two discs. Nice that they've got different artwork on each disc. X-Men 1.5, so this was brought out after the original first version of X-Men. Um, this was a two-disc extreme edition of the original film. Uh, you've got um, in different modes. So the original version of the movie, movie including audio commentary by director Brian Singer. Enhanced viewing mode including six extended scenes with optional director's commentary. Enhanced views mode with six extended scenes and 17 behind the scenes segments. So they went all out with this release. This too, there's a bunch of special features there. So if you wish to pause and read at your own leisure. Uh, and then you've got your tech specs down the bottom there as well. DTS soundtrack on these was very good. Um, the disc art's a bit plain on these two. Um, but... Uh, that's X-Men 1.5. And then X2. Um, got the characters um, from the film. And again, special features. Um, plenty of deleted scenes, etc. Another 5.1 DTS um, soundtrack on this one. Open it up. And again, quite plain artwork again for the... Um, both discs. There's a little advertisement for Mo Harley Davidson that was promoting the third and final film. And then, what's really nice about this release is this comic book adaptation Xavier, Magneto, and Stan, featuring an all new, never before released X Men story by Stan Lee plus three Stan's favourite classic X Men stories. Square bound book. There's the back with the uh, sort of comic book style. Wolverine in the uh, yellow costume that we're going to get to see in the um, up and coming Deadpool 3. And then if we open it up, there's a word from Stan Lee. So if you wish to pause that and read, you're more than welcome. Pictures from the comics. And then this is just like a comic book strip. Really, really nice edition this. This was specific for this release. Just flick through it. You've got some nice cover art there. Very cool on the back there, hey, Stan Lee. You get the idea. So yeah, it's really nice that this comes with this DVD collection box set. Okay, so before we get on to the um, prequel trilogy, before that we got a couple of films focusing on the character of Wolverine, and we have the X Men Origins Wolverine. Steelbook. Uh, it was exclusive at the time for HMV, and this is a fantastic um, lenticular that shows Wolverine in an X ray. Hope that's picking it up on the camera. Sorry about that glare. But yeah, it's really, really cool. This. <clears throat> I'll 
the back you've got the um, tech specs and you've got um, the first version of Deadpool played by Ryan Reynolds not a particularly good version of him um, they sort of changed up the character in this one it's not the best film but um, yeah it's a nice addition um, for the F X Men origins of Wolverine. So next up is the um, Wolverine film. So that's a lenticular from the um, French edition. And then this was the, I think this was an HMV exclusive. So I've also got a lenticular on the back there. So bear with me and I'll just get this out and we can have a bit of a closer look. Okay, so <clears throat> this was a custom lenticular that I bought. Um, just shows a couple of images of um, Logan. And then we've got the steelbook. Very nice design. Matte finish on this. Might be a zero finish possibly. Uh, flip it back. There you can see it was an HMV 3D steelbook. Open it up. And then on the inside, you've got the spine there. And on the back, that's a very nice image. Open it up. Now we've got some little postcards and things in there. So there's the 3D disc. The Unleashed Extended Cut. And the standard Blu-ray. We've got one of the characters from the film on that side. Then you have Wolverine on that side. Okay, so this is a little comic book that um, I'm not sure whether it came in this release. I can't quite remember. But uh, yeah, just a little adaptation of the film in comic book form. That's very nice. There's a little leaflet there for the um, sort of crossover film. That may have been for days of future past. I'm not 100% sure. And I've also got some um, little uh, art prints. Didn't come with this set. I think I got these off of eBay. Um, yep. Jean Grey. That's the film, The Wolverine. Okay, so the next standalone film, um, still part of the Logan Wolverine sort of storyline. This didn't come after these previous two films, but I'm just sort of keeping them in the sort of uh, areas, I suppose, that they come within um, character-wise. So we're talking about Logan, probably one of the best of the X-Men films, very, very sort of dark, serious tone to this one. And this is the Blu-ray and DVD copy. Um, I believe this may have been a Target exclusive. I can't quite remember, but uh, you've got the spine there. And then on the back, now this comes with the... Um, noir version the black and white version as well i've never watched it in black and white so yeah i do need to do that at some point so it's like a digi book so you've just got the plain logan on there nothing on the back logan on the side 
so we open it up now what i've actually done is i've popped the uh 4k disc in here for logan i think i may have bought the standard edition at some point i can't quite remember but uh on the back you've got the 4k of the black and white edition as well so we'll just go through this i don't think it's just images from the film i say very 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 good film this one uh very dark dealing with sort of the end of um professor xavier's life I'm sorry for spoilers but it has been out for some time Really, really nice addition for this film. There's a uh, very old um, Professor Xavier, played by fantastically by um, Patrick Stewart. And this is kind of based on the comic book of Old Man Logan. I think at the time it was probably going to be the last time that Hugh Jackman played the role, but obviously he's since come back into it, um, certainly in the Deadpool film. But yeah, it's uh, a really, really nice book, this, sort of with a lot, of, all black and white images. been a while since i've looked at this actually so yeah it's sort of um yeah nice to revisit and then you've finally got some photo credits at the back there so yeah this is the uh edition of logan okay so i've decided to sort of split this into two parts um we've obviously focused on the first three x-men films that were produced and the sort of standalone Wolverine films focusing on the character of Wolverine stroke Logan and I think we'll leave it there now and um, we'll do the second part looking at the prequel trilogy because there are another four films um, in that franchise or a crossover film <clears throat> um, I've got a few additions to show you so, so I don't want to the video to go on for that length of time so um well yeah we'll look at uh, the remaining films um in part two so i hope you've enjoyed that sort of part one look at my x-men um collection of films i say look out for part two coming up um, and we'll carry on at the editions that I've collected over the years please give the video a thumbs up that really does help me out and if you're new here why not consider subscribing to the channel uh, so I've got a wealth of content there'll be a part two coming up for this um, video so you'll be able to sort of stay tuned for that one and I've also got a wealth of playlists um, which I'll put up here um, well some of them in some videos you can go and explore the channel wealth of playlists that you can enjoy depending on what you're into um, but um, yeah why not come and join the channel thoughts and comments down below um, do you have any of these films what do you think of the x-men um, films the wolverine films yeah be interested to hear your thoughts down in those comments and take care See you in part two. Bye now.